What's going on, y'all, man? It's L.A. Rich, and we back with another video, man. And look, today, we got the one and only Charlie Kirk back on the channel with him doing a video titled, Charlie Kirk Crushes Woke Pro Trans Feminist Leftist. Now, I'm pretty excited to get into this video. Um, I've watched a good amount of Charlie Kirk videos now, and I'll say, he knows a lot about a lot of things. I, I, you can't put it any better than that. The topics that he is able to remember, talk about, I mean, he's a true professional at his craft. He's a very, he's a true professional, man. Um, he goes and he makes sure no matter what topic they try to throw at him, he has knowledge on it. And that's a very big thing to do and just skill to have in general when you're doing, a, doing the type of debates he does. Which is why I continue to watch him. Um, so yeah, uh, before I get into anything, what I want to say is thank y'all for helping me hit 12.6 thousand subscribers. We on the road to 12.7 now. I appreciate y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, we gonna go ahead and get into this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some more videos to react to, whether it's from Charlie Kirk or anybody else. And I have seen the comments on the ones y'all have said already to react to. Um, just putting that out there, just so y'all know, I've read, a, I've seen a lot of the comments about, um, I can't think of the names off, off, off of my head right now, but just know I've seen the comments and I, I haven't, I haven't, um, just noted down the people that y'all have said to watch as well, but Hey, enough of the talking, man. Let's get into this bit. I'm, uh, very, uh, strong in my beliefs about, uh, a certain st set, I have a very strong belief in a certain set of principles. Um, I probably disagree with a lot of your principles. I disagree with conservatism and uh, usually right-wing conservative beliefs. Okay. The reason I'm here tonight is my son is very right-wing conservative. You have a very smart son. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he doesn't drink. <laughs> He's only 20. Watch it. Um, and the reason that I'm here is because I raised him to believe and think for himself, to look at both sides and come up with his own opinion. And he kind of didn't come up with Bernie, okay, I can live with that, but I absolutely stand behind his right to think what Good. he is free to think, and I don't need to break windows. That's not a model for what I believe in liberalism. There's a lot of liberals who are very upset about that. Good. So my question to you is, in my sense of accepting and loving my son, it's different, he's my family. I also believe, for, for example, one example is LGBTQ adults, not trans kids, I'm gonna get that argument, but LGBTQ adults who are happily in relationships and married, who are behind what they believe in, and it doesn't necessarily coincide with the Bible. It doesn't coincide with two genders. I believe that people have the freedom to express themselves and they don't want to be in two genders. They have a different point of view okay. because they looked at both sides. Well, they came up and they have the freedom to believe what they want. So, so what's how the question? do you, yeah. your, my question to you is how in your belief of two genders do you accept people who don't believe that? Well, yeah, I just asked the question. I would ask it of you. What is a woman? Um, for me personally, I am a woman. And I believe no, but that... but what is that? Don't, don't answer the question with the question, like, what is the vocab term, woman, define it. Um, that I align myself as a mother and uh, what the women in my life and the uh, feminine values of being uh, 
uh, more relationship oriented, less competitive, mothering, caring about someone ahead of myself. So those are values that I, feminist values that I believe in, and I believe I can be a woman. I don't have. Uh, I but it's just when, when you hear people like this, man, and with this question, I've seen Charlie Kirk ask a lot of people this question: What, what is a woman? It's like they're they're stepping on the thin line. Of just not trying to say exactly what we all know. What is a woman? I ain't going to say we all know because a lot of people almost don't know, basically. Um, they're saying everything that would be a woman besides the actual thing as far as what were you born with? Um, what what do you have on your body that a man doesn't have? That's, that's what they always shy away from. And it, it feels so forced to me. You see what I'm saying? It's like they're saying everything along those lines, but don't want to say the clear thing that they know. I wasn't born with a male body, but I believe that I am a woman based on feminine principles. Those, uh, like, so those, under, and, and those and other Under your principles. view, somebody can choose to be what they want to be. Yes. Okay. Can I be a bobcat? Um, well, and more than that argument, I want to get more into no, no, this is important. your let me, belief. Let me ask you another question. Can oh, okay. I be whatever age I want to be? Um, the, the response to that really is not exactly what my question's about. Well, you're asking about my view on the LGBT, and I'm getting there. I'm just trying to understand. Or, and as an example, people who don't believe that there are two genders, just in general, no, I know. who are disagreeing with y you. And you are one of those people, so I'm trying to get to some form of understanding and clarity. Okay. So do you think that having agreed upon objective reality on age is important? Yeah, but that's not within the concept of gender. Well, but why, why is that different? Why, is, why does reality stop when gender gets discussed? Because I'm not thinking about people of different ages. Why not? So, well, if a 30-year-old thinks he's 14, he should be able to, be able to have sex with a 12-year-old, right? Um, no, this is more about gender. Well, that no, no, hold I feel, on. Well, but I have a limit, but gender to... is, gender is a, what, why? Where does that limit come from? And why do you believe in the limit for age, but not for biology? Um, because I feel that gender is an, is an aspect of somebody they can believe in being able to be in one, more than one gender. I don't believe that age falls into that. I believe this is more about a gender that people are right, able to don't choose. You, don't, you're saying, though, that gender is yes. a personal feeling or belief that somebody has about their existence. Uh, Regardless, yes, w within gender, there's got some it, things so, that the they moral, don't like the, being the, an animal or the, being 90. Right, but the moral premise of that is that your biology, your chromosomes, do not dictate your reality, correct? I don't know. Do I have to know the answer to that in order to honor the fact that somebody else believes that they are let, choosing let, let to be a woman? Let me tell you why and what I believe. Do, you, do I have to agree with that? Well, not a matter of agreeing. In order to be able to identify You gender. can have whatever opinion you want. But the truth is what I'm trying to articulate. It doesn't matter what you believe. Somebody is born a man. They don't stop being a man if they appropriate womanhood. If I wore blackface right now, I don't become black. If a man decides to all of a sudden dress in a dress, he doesn't become a woman, nor should I for you force other people to reaccommodate society. If they want to think that in their private time or in their own mind, it's kind of weird and strange, I guess, go ahead and do it. But that's not the debate we're having in America right now. The debate we're having, and I'd love your final thoughts on this, is a biological man is able to compete against biological women in NCAA sports and win the national... And then, I can say this for a fact, bro. With her mindset on that, I can almost guarantee she does not go around not calling people... Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Um, that young lady over there, that young man right there, she definitely, come on, man. Let's be honest right here, bro. She goes around labeling people as the gender before even asking them what their gender is because she, that doesn't, that does not come into play in, in her real life. 
I know that for a fact, bro. I, nothing, nothing that I don't even think she's she's gonna address it. But come on, man. Championship in swimming. Do you yeah. think that's fair? I, I don't think that that's not part of my personal beliefs. Um, okay, so let's maybe just go for gay and lesbian couples who are successful. I mean, just because I really want to know the answer, and I kind of know where that's headed, and I don't agree about men playing in women's sports or... Hey, we agree on that. So Yeah, so you I and agree I, that. You understand that the liberals that you identify with call you a bigot for that belief, right? Not the liberals that are my friends, and not all liberals believe that. Yeah, that's shocking. I'd love to meet them. So, um... Secondly, though, yeah. on the other part, as they're, far as... They're all in but, their 60s, but let me, but, <laughs> that, my friends. <laughs> on the LGBT thing, and I want to get to as many questions as possible. Yeah. What does somebody's own personal sexual orientation have to do with lumping in a bunch of letters with somebody that is suffering from gender dysphoria? Those are two separate issues. Don't you think we should yeah. divide them? No, I think that, that there are people who have healthy... Uh, homosexual relationships who identify that way who aren't in favor of no, no, some no. of the you, you gender misunderstood problems. the question what I'm trying to say is that for a while it was gay activism and now it's LGBTQIA plus it just keeps on growing and this right. kind of social contagion of um, of left-wing activism let me just uh, let me just tell you my position very okay. clearly okay everybody's made in the image of God that's my first that's my moral my first premise we all have a soul you could disagree with that. The American founders believed every single human being had a soul, and that is a fact. I believe that marriage is an institution and a tradition that should be between one man and one woman. Okay. Marriage, the, the, in an ideal world, the state would have a limited role in that, but I don't believe that diluting or destroying the institution of marriage or the vocabulary or the truth behind it does it any justice for anybody. And you must understand what a word means and what is the purpose of that word. And having been married, I can understand that marriage is about opposites getting along to do something bigger than themselves. The big issue in the gay marriage debate, and some conservatives disagree, is that you don't have two opposites. You have two alikes that are coming, two people that are alike coming yeah. together. Yeah. That's not what marriage is. You could call it something else, that's not marriage. In fact, I think it actually destroys and diminishes the beautiful institution of Hey man, they had cut it off midway, but yeah, the points, the points that was brought up. I mean, in the beginning, she really, she was praising her son, and I wonder actually what her son's thoughts on that is. Does her son agree the exact same way? She said that he has a mind of his own, so I wonder if he feels the same way or not. But hey, they got so much for helping me hit twelve point. 6,000 subscribers. We're going to roll up to 12.7 now. I appreciate y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, that's the way I close out the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's LA Rich, and I'm getting up out of here. All right, y'all.